everybody welcome back to crafting on a budget store.com for all your scrapbooking and crafting needs and much much more today we are going to start working on the amazing papers by chow bella um the paper line that i am using is snowy days and i did do a complete review of this so if you haven't seen it yet look through the um let me just move this light down a little bit. Look through all of the videos and you'll see that I did a review of this paper. This paper is so adorable. Now, rather than get ourselves really confused, because this is a little bit, a little bit more intricate, this book, I am going to just simply work on page bases today and get us ready for our inside covers. We are not going to do any matting yet. This is just simply we're making the bases. And what's unique about this book is this book, the pages one, three, and five, five, and yes, there will be five pages in here. One, three, and five all are the same layout and pages two and four are the same layout. So it's a, it's, it will seem like overwhelming, but it really isn't once you get the hang of it. So do pages one, three, and five first, and then do pages two and four first, and then cut out the stuff that we need for our inside covers. And then we'll move on to matting in another video. Okay, so let's get started. And for the sake of time, I have opted to make my bases. Make, let's make my bases, all of them except one. So I'm putting together one with you and giving you the measurements. And I'm putting, let me just pull that out a little so that I'm in frame. I really am trying, guys, to be in frame. I have a very small space. And um, so I apologize when I am out of frame. But I hope that when I'm out of frame, you're still listening to me and you're hearing what I'm saying and what I'm doing. So, um, and you can always back up the video um, and you can always ask questions. So feel free to ask questions if you want. Um, that's not a problem. So let me show you what the pages, um, pages one, three, and five are gonna look like. This is the first one. First of all, they are gonna open up this way. They're gonna be attached to our hinges like this. Okay, so they're longer, I mean, they're, you know, they're wider, and then rather, rather than this way. This is how we kind of normally do it. Now we're going to do it this way, okay? And the pages, the front of the page is going to have a flip. It's going to have a pocket, a pocket, and then a back page here. So we have two pockets, okay? And then when you turn the page around, you're going to have a flip and a pocket, okay? So pages one, three, and five are all going to look like this, okay? They're going to be decorated different, obviously, but they're going to all look like this, and I don't know yet if we are going to be using magnets or not. Um, I haven't decided because once you get five pages in, um, we may on the waterfalls, but once you have five pages in, it's kind of like, you, you shouldn't have a problem um, because they're kind of all holding themselves in um, and pushing next to each other. Um, but that's how pages one, three, and five are going to be. So I did two of them and we're going to do one together so that you have the measurements and how to do it. So let me just separate everything out here so that we can go very slowly. Okay. And the first piece you need is a seven by six okay this is one of the bases and then you need a seven by seven and on the seven by seven you're going to score a half an inch on the top and a half an inch on the bottom and what we're going to do is we're going to fold these down let me get my uh, teflon bone folder i like this one okay we're going to um Fold these down, 
And I'm using craft cardstock for this project. I thought craft would be something different because we used black with the minte and we used white with our snow globe book. Um, so I figured we'll try this. So now I am just adding tape to our scored sides. All right. And now I'm going to take the tape off. And I'm going to attach it, making sure that I'm attaching it um, long ways, guys. I, you know, sometimes you get confused here and you're, you're thinking it has to go like this. No, you'll be wrong. It has to go like this. Now I am going to try to um, stay in frame, which I am, and make sure that I'm lined up as best as can be. And I'm going to... glue that down. I got that. Mm, I got, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. I thought I got that off. Okay. And then I'm going to just kind of press that tape down and I'm going to use, why am I using my nails when I can use this? It's right here. Okay. And then I'm going to put the tape, the other tape side over there. Okay. So now here we have our page it's going to go into the hinge from this way so now we're going to work on this side of the paper on this side of the paper we need a piece of paper that measures six by eleven okay so you're going to have six inches wide eleven inches long okay and you're going to score this at three and a half and four. So I was able to use my small scoreboard for all of this, just so you know. So you're going to score it at three and a half and four. So we have a six by 11 piece of paper. We put it into our scoreboard. We score at three and a half and four. And now we have this kind of a, a look. Okay. This, this piece is going to go on the inside because remember we're going to attach our pocket here and our pocket on this side so we're going to put our tape on this piece here now i am using quarter inch tape and because this is a relatively bigger piece because it's going to have a lot of movement and it's a flap i am going to overlap my tape because i don't have half inch tape um, so I am going to overlap my tape just to give it a little more stability. Okay. So let me just burnish that in. And we're going to, and yes, you hear my talking house. For those of you who are new to me. Whoop, see, this is why I hate this tape. I'm just not, I don't want to bother May right now because she's moving the store and I don't want to bother her right this minute, but she knows how much I hate this tape. Yeah, it just leaves a film. Oh, it's horrible. That's okay. Get get the tape that's in May's store. The score tape um in her in her uh, store. You will love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of bend this like this because I want to glue this down on here i want it to the far right of our page so i'm going to turn this page to face me so that i can line it up evenly okay but that's what you're going to do Oops, and we didn't line it up evenly um and there we have it okay so now we have our flap and then here we have this flap and we're going to put both pockets one on either side of this flap and remember you're going to repeat this process two more times because this is is done two more times so our pockets are three by seven and we score a half an inch on three sides okay like we normally make our pockets and now let me add my tape so again these are three by seven 
you are going to need a lot of paper and you are going to have a lot of scraps left over we probably won't use the scraps for the um this project but when you have a lot of scraps save them because you just never know when you can use them for something else so don't throw them out because you never know when you need a little piece of something okay so i have two pockets because one is going on either side of this now what i am going to do is i am going to take my scissors and i am going to tab these so that they go in easier okay so let's do our first one our first pocket oh, here I go again with this tape three and when you're cutting all this guys you're gonna feel like oh my gosh i have this huge mess and all these papers that's why it's really important to keep piles and keep post-it notes and labels so now you see here i have a score mark here i'm not gluing over here i'm gluing only onto this this flap this pocket so i do not want to go past this very first score mark that we made which was that three and a half if you remember we did three and a half that's my three and a half line and my four line so I don't want to go over that so I'm going to be very careful I'm going to face it towards me so I can get it mm, wow dicky so I can get it towards me and get it lined up right oh. Making sure I don't go over that score line. That's so important because if you go over the score line, then this is not going to move. Okay, so there's one pocket. Now I'm going to put my other pocket in. And we're going to work on the reverse side of this page. And again, you're going to make three of these the same. Here we go again. Now, I believe that I saw this done by Laura's Crab Zone, I think she calls herself. She has some cute music and like a little, I think she has like a little bicycle or something. Um, and she did it. I believe that's where I got this from. I try to give credit where it's due. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel, guys. So, you know. We take the inspiration and then we put our own spin on it. Okay, so now here we have it, our flap, and here's our double pocket, and here's another base page. Now we're going to flip it over, okay, so that that's facing down. And now we have this piece, which is seven and a half by six, and I scored at a half an inch on the seven and a half inch line because this is going to create a flap here. So let's put some tape on this one. It's just good to get a lot of these measurements out of the way and, you know, then just be starting from Then, then do all the matting, then do it, mat it, do it, mat it. It's, it's, that's insanity. Unless you didn't know what you were doing and you were kind of like making up your pattern as you go along. Um, but this, our next video, I will have pre-cut all the mats so we can just lay them all down. I will give you the measurements. Um, so yeah, we'll be good to go. Okay, putting this here. Okay. And then we're going to add another pocket, but this pocket is different than the other two pockets. 
Remember this, guys. This is important. This pocket is not the same as the other pockets. This pocket is three and a quarter, so it's a little bit taller, by seven. And instead of scoring around, we are going to own glue the three sides. We're not going to score the three sides. We're going to glue them. So that's different than we did for the other pockets. So just remember that when you're when you're doing it so that you're not messing up because I did. I thought, oh, I'll just cut three. Three for each thing and I wasted a bunch of paper. So don't do what I did. Oh my gosh, that little snow globe. I should have brought it in. I have it displayed. That little snow globe book is adorable i hope that you guys i saw that one person um and i forget your name i'm so sorry um was following along making one so i hope that she posts um in the group because i would love to see it done it is so adorable I'm just, i just would like sit, was sitting there shaking it as soon as i knew it was like perfectly dried the next day shaking it i love it so now this is going to go completely across okay but it's make sure you're not going over that score line and i do like to kind of line it up with at least one good edge but i just want to make sure that that's not going to go over my score line and it's not okay all right so this is what your page will look like for one three and five Okay, we have the flap, we have a baby flap, two envelopes, so, uh, some blank paper there, and then on this side we have a flap and an envelope, and you know, we'll put something behind them. Okay, so you will need three of these. So I have three of those done. Now, page two is a little different, and I'll show it to you first, and then we'll make it together. Yeah, page two is. This is how page two looks. Page two has a flip that kind of goes like that. And we've kind of done something like that in the snow globe book. So it has a little piece that goes like that. And then on the back, it's got a waterfall, five, five pieces of a waterfall. Now, the only difference you're going to do from page two to page four is one page is going to have the waterfall going one way and the other page is going to have it going the opposite way. So when we do the back, I'm going to be paying special attention to where I'm gluing my waterfall pieces. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we need is our base. And this is a little bit different the measurements than the first ones okay this is six and three quarters by six okay um okay all right i just wanted to see what my little note was there so this is six and three quarters by six okay and again it's it's going long ways not short ways and then we have this cute little flip that we're putting on and this flip is six and a half why oh six I'm sorry six by eight and a half okay that is six inches by eight and a half okay and you're going to score this one at a half an inch and five and three quarters Okay, and where the half an inch is, is where we're going to put our score tape. Oh, wait, first let's connect our base. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Oh, let's start over again because I don't want to confuse you. The first part of your base is six and three quarters by six. The second part of your base is seven by six and three quarters. And on the seven inch side, you're going to score a half an inch on each side like we did for the other ones and then this is going to get glued down 
top and bottom to create our page. So let's do that first before we get to that other part. I don't want to, I don't want to confuse you. So six and three quarters by six is one, one part of the base. And then the other part of the base is seven by six and three quarters. And on the seven inch side, we are scoring a half an inch on each side. Okay. So now let's take this. Why did I take that one off? <laughs> Duh, let me put it back quick. I don't, I'm not that brave guys. I'm not, I'm not going to try to glue them both down at the same time. That's, that would be insanity. Okay. I just, I'm not that confident. <laughs> Maybe some of you are and good for you. Um, but I'm not, um, I'm not so, okay. Whew, I'm glad I caught that. That would have been a nightmare. Okay, now I can go to this part. Okay. All right. So now let's talk about that other piece again, because I don't want to confuse you. So we're going to talk about this piece again. This piece is six inches wide by eight and a half inches long. Okay, we need the length for this because we need to be able to have our little to have it glued in and have our little pull out like that okay that's the motion we're looking for so once we have this on the eight and a half inch side you are going to score at a half an inch and five and three quarters and on the half an inch side we're going to add our tape now, again, because this is the uh, mechanism that's going to be kind of open and shut, open and shut, open and shut, I think that it would be wise to add an extra piece of tape. Um, or you can use glue for this, too. Um, just the art glitter glue does dry a little fast, um, but you could use your YooHoo stick on this, and I think you'd be very happy with that. I'm very happy with that YooHoo glue. Um, it's really, it's really great. Okay. All right. So I'm going to bend this, bend the half inch side to the back and then this flap to the front. And I'm going to glue this half inch side to the right of my page. Okay. Good. Now this is going to be a pocket, but we're not gluing anything down until we put our paper here. Okay. But this is eventually going to be glued down just so that you know. Um, but we're going to leave it open for now because we have to put our paper in there. All right. So now we're going to flip it to the other side. So now here I have my page two and page four. Okay. Now I'm going to flip it to the other side, flip it to the other side. And I already see that my waterfall on pa this page starts from left to right. So on this page, I'm going to start my waterfall from right to left. Okay. Now the waterfall paper that you need, you need five pieces and these five pieces measure five by six. And on the five inch side, you're going to score a half an inch. Okay. So we, I did score them all, but I didn't put any tape on them yet. And we're going to create our waterfall and we're just going to do opposite what we did for the other page. So let's get our tape going again. I'm going to put the tape on all of these half inch scores. 
pours that we did because this is going to create our waterfall and this time I'm going to glue my waterfall pages from left to right because my other page has them from right to left. Okay, and we'll need five of them. See what I mean about heavy on the paper, heavy on the background paper. Um, so I tried to let you know that because I let I try to let you know that before we do a project, so that you have what you need or you can decide if you want to um, do it or not. All right, so the first one of the waterfall is always very easy because it's the first one. You don't have anything to worry about. Everything lines up, looks great. Okay. It's the following pages that you have a problem with. So just take your time. And now when you glue, don't glue over this half inch glue. Let me see if I can show you. Okay. See how this, see this line here where our half inches you don't want to glue here you don't want to glue the next one on top of this line you want to butt it up directly to this one right here this this piece right here okay so let's try it again and try to try to line them up as best as you can and sometimes they do get a little wonky sometimes they get a little crazy I try, I try to like look as I go you know I flip it back look at it again see if I like it um, but we should be good to go okay Let's see, I got a tiny bit off there, so I'll just use my bone folder to kind of make my page go the way I want it to, because that did get a tiny bit off. Okay, get in there. This is why I'm not doing every single page with you because we we would be here like all all day okay that looks good and one more one more okay It's a little off. Well, it's stuck down now, so a little off. I just use my bone folder to crease it. That's what's great about the bone folders. They really do work your papers. So there, we have the waterfall on that one, and we have the waterfall on that one. So now we have all of our pages, okay? Or you will have all of your pages done. Um, when you are um, done putting these all together. The only other thing that you can cut out now and just save for later, you're not going to need it right now. Um, and you will notice that pages two and four are slightly smaller and they're supposed to be. Okay, just for a little difference in, in pages. Um, your inside covers, one of them is going to look like a pocket and one of them is going to have two flips so if you would like to cut these out now I will give you the measurements the base so your first when you open your inside cover you're going to have a piece that's six and a quarter by five and seven eighths okay and then it's going to have a pocket on it and it's going to have a flip so it's going to look like that, okay? When we're all when all is said and done, it's going to to look like this, 
Okay, so if you want to cut out these pieces, we're not gluing them anywhere. Um, and you don't even have to, well, you could maybe tape if you want, just to be prepared. Um, but basically, you're going to need a six and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And then you're going to need a four and three quarters by seven and a quarter. And you're going to score three sides a half an inch. And then your little top flap is going to be two and a half wide by six and a quarter long and you are going to score the two and a half inch side at a half an inch but we're not gluing this because this actually has to get glued underneath our base so we're not gluing anything yet we're, we're just prepping so let me put my tape on these just so that they're prepped for when we are ready to go but we're not doing anything else with these right now. We're just trying to get some stuff prepped. Um, I, like to, I like to have a little organization going as much as possible. <laughs> as much as possible. Sometimes it's not possible. But sometimes it is so okay so that's that one and then the back page the back page is going to have again that same base of six and a quarter by five and seven eighths and this one is going to have two pieces one is going to flip oh and i put the tape on the wrong side of that one well i could just reverse it okay um this is going to flip up and one is going to flip down okay so this piece is six and a quarter by five and a half you need two of them to make this and they both are going to be scored on the five and a half inch side they're going to be scored half an inch Okay, and I'll show you what this is eventually going to look like. This is going to be the back inside cover. And this is going to go, one's going to go here. Okay, and one's going to go on the bottom. And we'll probably put magnets and then depending hard to put it together when it's not attached to anything okay it's going to kind of look like this and this okay and then this will lift up we'll have our decorative paper and this will pull down okay so that's what your inside covers are going to look like so there's your homework so we meet again till we start matting there is your homework for your pages and your inside covers okay we're going to take this you know I, I don't want to say we're going to take it really slow because we're getting really close to christmas and i still have that one other um paper to use um so we're getting there we're getting there but i wanted to use snowy days next so um there you have it so you will have by the time you're finished you will have Pages one, three, and five will look identical, and pages two and four will look identical, except for the waterfall. One waterfall, one waterfall will start from left to right, and the other waterfall will start from right to left. Okay, so there you guys have it. That's your little homework. Work on those, and then I'm going to work on the mats and figuring out what we need for our mats. And what sizes we need so that we are easy peasy we'll get it done and um, get this book going and you know once we start matting and stuff it's gonna really come together fast so just you know just hold on tight and you know we'll 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 get it done all right so you know what I'm gonna say stay safe be well God bless you all and bye for now